Hey everybody, it's Julie here and I am back with a really fun video, I think. Uh, first, I'm just going to show you how I order my prints. Oh, well, I just ordered and I just show you that I ordered just black and white, some collages, some Instagram, some whatever, just really a big mix, uh, color, black and white, uh, squares, not squares. <laughs> um, and in this sack is a lot of puppy photos. Um, and dog photos. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to use those two. It's a Viola and just to show you like it's been a year. So that is what Elias is, is about. So I'm taking here a big sheet of really really cheap um, watercolor paper and it's really cheap and uh, not that good but for what I'm going to do today works just fine. So I'm cutting it down to a little bit smaller than 12 by 12 because I want to mat it later. And I'm going to start with prime it with gesso and dare just to keep it good, <laughs> uh, to let the colour keep a bit better. So doing that and going to let it dry before we go to a new step and I'm going to create a really soft sort of woodland background that is what I want I want this, this to be really like wood uh, so I'm going to use some screens from Tarot Angel and this comes with three different trees and um, yeah so I thought if I want to make a, <laughs> a sort of a woodland uh, inspired layout then those would do the trick so I'm going to put them and then spray with different mist to get different effects and uh, so that is what I'm going to do. Well, what I am doing. Uh, I did try to like stamp with them, but yeah, it, it's not really working. So, but I do spray and I'm going to spray with different colors to get sort of a real background that I want. Um, I don't want it to be themey, but I want that woodsy feel because because of where we live and where the dogs work with and all of that I really wanted to try to get that feel um, but it's not a lot of paper collection that has, has that feel without it feeling too themey or so. So here I'm trying out a new color and I say hmm I like that one. So first I'm just going to dry it a bit uh, so the color doesn't really smear that much and then I'm going to place them again and then spray it. So with doing this um, you will get effects of a, like a woods with the different colors so I really like how it turned out. Um, so I use a, a sort of a minty blue and then a light green. Well it's a sort of a dark green but I sprayed it so it was very light. Um, and yeah so that is sort of the background. I'm going to let that run dry. Oh my gosh. I also want to have some sort of die cuts to go with it, but like I said, finding wood theme, I mean finding flowers or leaves is a piece of cake, but finding trees and like trees that we have here, not that easy. So I'm going to do them. So I spray with the green on that paper and then I'm going to trace it around a bit faster, come on. Yep. There we go. And I just use a black fine tip pen that won't bleed when it comes to water. Because later, when these are dry, I'm going to add some watercolor. So I'm going to do that with about three trees, and I'm going to cut them out. And yeah, it's a bit of fussy cutting, it takes a bit of time, but I think it's definitely worth it. I really loved how these turned out. But I did feel there was a little bit too flat, so I'm going to add some watercolor in green and blue. And... Um, going to do that so you sort of get a, a shadow on them. Now because this watercolor paper is really really bad I did this multiple times so these are just like the first layer so I did this the night before and then finished it the day after uh, so everything had a chance to dry and all of that. So that is what I am doing and like I said I used a lot of layers of watercolor um, which you don't really see in your final cut because the paper is really bad but it's cheap and it's fun. So here you can see the finished uh, piece of the paper that I made. It's sort of shady because 
it was taken on my desk but I just wanted to see because it looks really washed out on the video so I wanted you to see like the colors of it so I'm going to start with matting and I wanted to pick up on the blue on the first photo which is from Instagram so you sort of have that you know vintage uh, filter on it and I want to pick up a blue I don't want it to be green because like I said I didn't want it to be themey so I really like this sort of navy blue I'm a real sucky for navy blue <laughs> So this paper is from Prima All About Me 6x6 pad and you can see I matted it on a bigger piece that is not 6x6 but I made it work and you can't really see that edge so um, you can mat it and sort of piece it together. Uh, it all depends on pattern you know. So I'm also going to layer some of that wood paper from Prima Cartographer. Um, I'm going to do that and the, that blue paper is also from All About Me as are these floral and I really like that because it's super tiny floral so you can get away with it you know. <laughs> Not is it, that is anything wrong with floral but on this layout I just wanted a hint of a different color. So that is all of the papers really. Here I have my beautiful little die cuts that I've made. Uh, I'm going to glue that down. And yeah, but I also, I did my journaling before and I did that on a Maggie Holmes open book core kit from Project Life. Um, I think it's the best core kit ever. And that is not just because Pro <laughs> open book was my favorite collection ever. Okay, it is. But anyway. Okay, so now I have my trees down and I love how it turned out. Now I'm going to use the title and I'm going to use Heidi Swap and these are some puffy, puffy alpha stickers in navy blue. And I'm going to write my title and that is going to be uh, One Year Together, but in, in Swedish because I really want it in Swedish because I am Swedish. <laughs> so anyway... Um, so that is what I'm doing and before I just put the stickers on a sheet so I can sort of place it around a bit. Because it's, it is a pretty long word. I'm also going to use some wood veneer from Studio Calico in these little hearts because I wanted to add a bit of embellishments but like at the same time I decided to go with wood to get that sort of natural feel. Um, I didn't want to bring in too much color, I really want to focus on that blue to make it really pop and those hard to bring in that wood, I really like it. So placing all those tiny little hearts, they are really cute and all that remain is to match and I'm going to use this paper from Tim Holtz. And I used it because it's sort of grungy, uh, vintage and I mean it is a lot of different small papers but you won't see that in the end. So that is <laughs> that is my layout with pretty much majority of the stuff I made from scratch myself. So I really want to show you that you can make it all on your own, you know. And I hope that you really like it. I just added some gold and black ink splatter. And that is it. Oh yeah, I stitched around with my sewing machine on the together and around the left. I hope you liked it. I hope to see you all soon and have a great day. Okay, bye!